Apparently, it's a little bit more cinematic to go from black to light. So, this is my voiceover with the black background, just so I could have it on my iPhone when I'm trying to make video. <laughs> Hello, people. My lovely, wonderful people that watch my stuff, watch my videos. Uh, today, ho hopefully, you guys will be patient and watch this whole video because what you might see might be very interesting. Because today's subject is Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those subjects that make me uh, very careful to you have to be very careful to uh, have a subject like that because it's um, okay like but I probably addressed a lot of this stuff so I'm assuming you probably don't watch my videos and this might be your first video so what I was gonna say is there's three subjects supposedly you're not supposed to talk about politics religion and personal life but basically on the social media, that's basically what people do. At least they try to talk a lot about their personal life. So I'm taking this opportunity to uh, have a little bit of, um, well, content about my life. And the one major part of my life is Jesus Christ. Christ following, following Christ. So hopefully you will enjoy what I'm about to show you. Or it's mostly maybe it's more audio than it is video. Again, just a caveat. A word that means like, well, an ex I'm not even sure what caveat means. But I like using big words and not even knowing what they mean. So I'm going to uh, include a caveat right now about how this video is totally from my iPhone so everything that you're about to see is just edited on the iPhone because I'm not able to edit with the computer right now because I'm going through a transition transition so hopefully you enjoy this video and again if you do tell me you do so here we go. Enjoy the trip. Yeah, so here it is. And I am, I didn't fire up the computer because <sighs> that's a can of worms I'm not ready to get into because supposedly I could get some better editing done with the video. But I know that for the amount of time that I take to make a video, it's not very productive because I don't get that many views. So, but maybe if I did more production, do you think I'd get more views? Hmm, I don't know. Just wait to find out on Tim's Variety Show, season 10, episode two, two. Because two represents Christ, human, and a hundred percent God. Yep, it's a mystery. So two, Christ is humanity and Christ is deity. So please stay tuned. The whole thing that people probably overlook and they dismiss is that he technically was okay. here. That's why God redemption process works. anything you can leave a comment and say if I'm full of it or not you know doing so I didn't do it or I'm not gonna try to do it anymore so pretty wild pretty wild thought so I'm walking uh, 
I'm on my break at work, so I'm walking around. I'm thinking like, you know what? There's nothing really new I'm going to tell anybody. The one thing that's on my heart about the subject of Jesus Christ is the whole thing about his race. I guess it's relevant for some reason. The bottom line is that it doesn't really matter. Is he your savior? Is he your Lord and savior? Because the, the one part of the whole thing that people probably overlook and they dismiss is that he technically, Jesus Christ technically has to be all like multi-ethnical. His mother uh, was a Jewish woman. His father is God. So technically he is all races in one. It may sound crazy, but let me tell you my argument. To my understanding, if you're going to be a kid's men or kid kindred, kin, oh, I can't even say the word. That's what, that's what I was thinking like, wait a second. I'm not a good speaker and I'm probably not very attractive either. So if you're watching this right now, you're probably my friend or you're probably just like, whoa, what does this guy have to say? But on the subject of Jesus Christ, he has to be Asian, African. Like think about all the Mediterranean area. There's Africa, there's uh, the, the Middle East. I guess that is the Middle East technically. So. The, the only point I'm trying to make, which, you know, if you watch any of my videos, you know that it takes me a long time to make a point. But the one point is, is that Jesus Christ has to be a blood relative. You cannot, redemption, you cannot, oh, there's a doggy. Look at him. Look at him. He's all like, you're a doggy. Anyways, so to be a redemption, Redeemer, to redeem a people, you have to be a blood relative, according to what the Bible talks about. He cannot be a redeemer without being a blood relative. That's why God is his father, because God is our father. He is the father of all creation. So Jesus Christ, and also you got to even consider the scripture about being the, the last Adam. The first Adam damaged the human race actually killed it, spiritually killed the human race. But the last Adam, who is Jesus Christ, he is the final Adam. You know, he, he's the redeeming. He's redeeming us. He's making us spiritually alive. So if you get anything from my video, understand that Jesus Christ, if you're going to argue about his race, is really kind of a mute point. Because according to the scripture, he has to be a blood relative. Because the way that the whole redemption process works is that a blood relative has to redeem. the. Um, well, read the scripture. You'll see the whole concept of how blood relative redemption works. You can't just be like, if he is not a blood relative of us, he's unable to redeem us. But he is. He is. He's the last Adam. He's the final Adam. So I'm not a scholar or anything, but I, I've read the word and I understand the concept of redemption and uh, being a blood relative. So if next time someone's arguing with you about Jesus's race, yeah, he is technically, well, I mean, even think about the scripture. It says in the scripture that Jesus wasn't really an attractive person. But it was what he had to say. So that's how, if anybody comes before you and wants to argue about his race, say, yeah, he was all at races. Because that's the only way that redemption would work. You have to be a blood relative. So, so that's kind of a mute point. And that's how I'm taking that one, because that's what the scripture teaches. So yeah, Jesus was probably all the races mixed up from the Mediterranean area. That's including East Indian, Asia, Asian, and well, we all came from Adam, so there you go. It's really a, a mute point. So don't get caught up in that argument because he's either your Lord or Savior or not. So if they're gonna make a decoy about like, oh, what race is Jesus? The question is, is he your Savior? Is he your Lord? 
is he is he gonna plead your case when you, when you die? You know?